the growth of China's middle class means greater demand for global food, which of course puts upward pressure on global food prices. But can poor workers in the Middle East afford higher food prices? If not, that could lead to unrest. And instability in the Middle East means a rise in oil prices, which could mean higher fuel prices in America, and that would leave Americans with less disposable income, so they'd buy fewer goods from China. And with less demand for their exports, well, that could mean a contraction of China's middle class, with journalists in more places than any other international broadcaster. We see the bigger picture. Business on the BBC. Make the connection.